Right, I've just bought this uh, 1.5 watt solar panel and uh, it's designed to keep car batteries topped up when they're not being used for a while and you can see it comes with uh, crocodile clips and a cigarette adapter plug thing to uh, plug directly into the car and look at this it says works even if the weather is overcast or dull brilliant because well this is England now it says here that it's got a blue flashing LED charge indicator and it does look at that flashing on and off but it's not really a charge indicator is it because it's not connected to anything so it's not charging anything so really it's just a blue flashing LED voltage indicator okay so the first thing I'm going to do with my brand new 1.5 watt solar panel is I'm going to cut into this cable like this and then cut away or cut in half the positive line there we are and that's enabled me to fit a couple of banana plugs so that I can uh, put my uh, multimeter in the circuit and measure current and of course if I want to just reconnect the circuit without the multimeter I can just plug it in like that Well, it is pretty dull and overcast today, so I've connected the terminals of the solar panel to my car battery. Now, the car battery is a, well, it's upside down, but it's a 35 amp hour. And um, for the purposes of this test, I'm going to assume that it's been depleted by 10%. So what we need to achieve is a 3.5 amp hour top up. Right, well, the solar panel is now attached to the windscreen using those rubber suckers. I'm kind of half expecting it to fall off at some point, so uh, prepare for that. But there it is, facing right up into the dull overcast sky, and then that's connected to the DVM. And the reading we're getting at the moment is... Well now, what's happening there is it's flickering between two values, 18.9 and 17.9. It's hard because the uh, light level keeps changing. And that flickering is actually being caused by that blue flashing LED. Because it's flickering at the rate that the blue flashing LED is flashing. So the blue flashing LED is actually taking about one milliamp uh, away from uh, the current that we're getting to charge the battery. But anyway, if we take an average, we're looking at about, what, 19, let's be generous, 20 milliamps flowing into the 12 volt battery. So as I said, we need three and a half amp hours to top up the last 10% of the battery and uh, that's 3500 milliamp hours. Now this thing's providing 20 milliamps. So if I divide this number by 20, we get the number of hours that it will take to fill up the last 10% of the battery. And it's 175 hours. Now if we assume that uh, in the summer, we're going to get something like about eight hours of light per day, divide by eight. We've got 22 days. It's going to take 22 days for this solar panel to top up the last 10% of uh, this very small, because my car's very small, uh, 35 amp hour battery. All right, well now it's got a fair bit duller and it started raining. And now the reading on the DVM is well between about one and a half and three milliamps so the 20 milliamps was very generous this is true united kingdom dull wet horrible weather and this panel's putting out well next to nothing frankly well now the weather's taken a real turn for the worse and uh, we've got hailstones and nothing really nothing coming from the uh, 1.5 watt solar panel. So I would uh, venture to suggest that um, when it's really dull and overcast and hailing and miserable and nasty, this solar panel doesn't really work at all. 
so I dispute the claim that it works even if the weather is overcast or dull.